Good evening, and thank you for being with us. A 57-year-old man died in an early morning crash on a stretch of Farrington Highway along the rail line in Eva Beach. Police say the driver slammed into a large concrete pillar. As Sarah Madison explains, this is not the first time for traffic fatalities in the area. Sunday morning's crash reopened old wounds for an Eva Beach mother who has experienced tragedy at the same location. Debris and ashes from the flares mark the scene where the victim died. Police say just after 7 o'clock on Sunday morning, the vehicle was heading east on Farrington Highway by Old Fort Weaver Road. It's unclear how the driver went off the road and crashed head on into the concrete rail pillar. But police say speed appears to be a contributing factor. Nearby in October, a pickup truck slammed into the pillar and erupted in flames. It killed both people and a dog. A week later, police classified that crash as murder. Just three pillars down, a large memorial with fresh flowers adorn another section of the rail. Here was where Ryan Toazon, Josh de Guzman, and Cassandra Kim died in a fiery crash back in July 2017. Toazon's mother continues to mourn for her son and his friends. And every day we light candles and we put flowers just like this just to remember them. The burden that we carry in our heart is still, still there. Angela Toazon says she's shaken and saddened another life has been lost. In my perspective, the way I feel the poor person who died like that, same thing as we lost our son. The way we, we feel about how they die, you know, it is sore. She sends this message to others. Be careful when they pass that room, you know. Officials have not released the name of the victim from Sunday morning's crash at this time. Reporting from Farrington Highway, Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.